Newcastle Falcons entertained Exeter Chiefs at Kingston Park in a match that was already at this stage of the season one that Alan Tate's men could not afford to lose. Both sides made changes from the teams that lost over the new year, with the Chiefs forced to make one just before kickoff when Richard Baxter had to pull out through illness, seeing Jamie Phillips come in and Dave Ewers move onto the bench. A strong wind blowing down the ground meant that Exeter would have the advantage in the first half and they made the most of it on ten minutes as scrum half Hayden Thomas scampered clear from the fringes to go over under the posts for his first of the season. Ignacio Mieres added the extras and the Argentine was also on target with a penalty just before the interval for the Chiefs to go in with a comfortable lead, ten points to nil. The Falcons started the second half as well as they could have wished with a Gopeth penalty registering their first points and narrowing the deficit to seven. But just two minutes later, the Chiefs were ten clear again thanks to another Mieres penalty and an attritional second half saw no further points added until the final five minutes. No. They came courtesy of Mieres' first drop goal of the season and they looked to have sealed the Chiefs' victory. But a spirited effort in the closing moments saw Tim Swinson score under the posts for Falcons, his first this term, and when Gopeth added the extras it led to a fraught final two minutes with six points the difference however as Falcons battled to clear their lines replacement Tom Bedford knocked forward and the final whistle went with the only consolation for the home team a defensive bonus final score Falcons 10 Chiefs 16